Hello. Not so long ago, I had an interesting conversation. Uh, one person told me, like, well, you work mostly in the area of successions, like wills and the state, uh, so probably you don't know much about other areas of law. And, uh, well, there is a certain truth uh, in, in this idea, because no lawyer, at least to my knowledge, has like equally deep experience in all the areas of law. Uh, but I would not uh, underestimate uh, the scope of knowledge that is needed uh, to practice in the area of wills and the state. Uh, so just out of sheer interest, I tried to make a list uh, what areas of law are involved when we when we work, when we talk about wills and the state. And here you are. Uh, well, of course, there is a law of successions, uh, and most probably there will be a question of property law when it comes to some asset or several assets, uh, and uh, when it comes to some rights, uh, that the heirs might have or might not have in that property. For example, when there is a house that would go to children of the deceased, but his wife, for example, has a right of use for life or for some period of time, or some uh, of his children who was actually living in the house with the deceased, and now the house would belong to like five siblings but one of them was living in the house and uh, as a tenant even maybe if it was a duplex or triplex so what are the rights and so forth so property law uh, and just just to start because when the property is sold there might be a question of a uh, latent defect or just not so latent but anyway defect there might be litigation with a buyer that part family law because uh, again even if, for whatever reason, uh, the spouse was not one of the heirs or the share was not that big or even was big, but the spouse was not the only heir, uh, then there is a question of family patrimony, uh, something that is owed to the spouse besides the legacy that was specifically given to the spouse in the will, if there was a will. And they might be a situation when there was no will, but still there are rights as a widow or widower uh, of uh, the deceased, and there are rights as an heir, which is not the same. Uh, not to mention that there might be a question of who is the liquidator, or if there are minor children, and the legacy uh, goes to those minor children, and nothing to their surviving parent, but the surviving parent is the legal tutor to those children, so you, you might you might imagine. Uh, of course, tax law is a very complicated area, and uh, even those who are specialized, so to say, uh, in tax law, usually do not know equally all the areas of tax law, and uh, like they have like specific experience in certain chapters. Uh, of that law, or so certain subdivisions of that law, but still, to a certain extent, uh, when we talk to, when we talk about wills and estate, when we talk about assets of the estate, and uh, when and how the tax return should be submitted and for whom, and uh, the questions of rollover of taxes <coughs> when it comes to again like a house or another immovable property coming from within the family uh, from one generation to another. Uh, so certain ta aspects of tax law are also present. Uh, though I would say, if you think that there are complicated aspects of tax law, uh, then probably even if you have a wills and estate lawyer on your side, it might be a good idea to have at least a consultation with the tax law. Uh, of course, there are certain questions of insurance law, securities law, uh, 
low HIPAA tax uh, mortgages because uh, the property that is inherited might be uh, uh, aggravated with some sort of HIPAA tax or some other loan or credit line or uh, who knows. Uh, so this should be or there might be litigation over the ownership over the title uh, of some property and again uh, there might be some uh, situation of destruction of such a property and the question of insurance uh, and so forth so that part is also there uh, there might be the the deceased had some debtors or was owing some debt to somebody else uh, and the time period to claim that debt was maybe was maybe was not uh, already out uh, run out and uh, then there might be a question of prescription a prescription for a claim uh, which is like extensive pres prescription a prescription for a peaceful possession of somebody else's property which now becomes the property of the deceased or not which is acquisitive prescription uh, again when it was all within one family uh, and i'm not talking about like husband and wife now but just some greater family it might not be an issue until somebody dies and then suddenly all those ties that were considered to be quite close appeared to be not so much and then then the question of like who owes what to whom and for how long you know, becomes actual of course the questions of uh, powers of attorney mandates protection mandates administration of property of another and just enrichment all interconnected or in to a certain extent sometimes to a greater extent sometimes not so much but still it's present there uh, and uh, when it comes to the question of interpretation of certain wills especially if the will was not drafted by a notary or if the will was not drafted in this jurisdiction and therefore there might be some complication about how it is seen in this jurisdiction in our case in quebec uh, this brings up questions of interpretation of contracts of legal texts uh, sometimes even constitutional law issues and it's not something that i just imagine i witnessed such a situation uh, also uh, when the state is not located only in Quebec, it might be somewhere in Ontario, British Columbia, in some state of the United States, uh, somewhere in Europe, in part in Africa, in India, wherever, New Zealand. Uh, then private international law is also there because uh, the law of successions is different in different jurisdictions, sometimes to a small extent, sometimes to like a greater extent uh and that's only what just has come to my mind right away when i was thinking of the areas of law that are involved when we're talking about wills in the state uh if we add here a situation when the deceased was in the middle of some kind of litigation or was going to end up in some kind of litigation uh, against him or her or uh, initiated on his or her behalf uh, then whatever is the litigation it might affect affect you know, their state so it might be defamation it might be contractual it might be consumer protection it might be immigration and so forth uh, so as it appears the only area of law that i probably would rule out in most of cases as criminal law but <laughs> everything else might appear uh, in the file when it comes to wills and the state it doesn't mean that every 
single case is so complicated. Most of them are not. But things happen. Thank you, and have a nice day.